you guys doing out there? My name is Kyle, and today I'm going to be doing a double feature trailer review, which I don't think I've ever done on this channel. And I'm going to be talking about two trailers that I saw last night. One of them was for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and the other was for the remake of The Mummy, which is, of course, the remake from the 99 version starring Brendan Fraser. I'm very excited to talk about both of these trailers and my thoughts on them. So let's start off with the one that I liked a lot more than the other one, <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Now before I start, I think I should preface by saying that Guardians of the Galaxy was one of my favorite movies of 2014. I love this movie. It's my second favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe film of all time. This movie is just, it's a great ride. And I remember seeing it when it first came out, and I was kind of hesitant about it because... I didn't really like the trailers, and they didn't really hook me. But I'm pretty sure it was about 5 to 10 minutes into the movie that I realized I think I'm in for a good ride. I must say, I was really, really impressed with this trailer. It looks stunning. The color grading just looks so efficiently made. It doesn't feel overstaged. It just looks awesome. All the characters you know and love are back. Star-Lord, Gamora, Drax, Rocket, and this time, Baby Groot. And Baby Groot in this trailer is phenomenal. I mean, of course, the scene where they're talking about... Because that will set off the bomb immediately, and we'll all be dead. <laughs> now repeat back what I just said. I am Groot. No! I like the part where you saw the Marvel Studios logo because it felt so retro the way it kind of wiped its way into the next scene. I don't know. It just it looked really cool. I love the original soundtrack. I think most of us do... The people who like DC probably don't, but the soundtrack for Guardians of the Galaxy is one of my favorites of all time. I own it, I listen to it all the time, so I'm very excited to see what they can bring to the table for Volume 2 soundtrack. Once again, I'm so excited for it. I don't know a lot about it. I like the fact that it's more of a teaser trail than just giving us random plot and facts, and I think this is really all I need. I love the trailer, and I love the part of the end where they go to, I think it's a psychic, and she's touching Starla and she's like, I can feel the presence of love, no, sexual love, for her, pointing to Gamora. The response from Drax was phenomenal, and then he's like, do me, do me! <laughs> so yes, guys, without a single shred of doubt, I'm gonna go see Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 when it comes out in May. I am so, so pumped for it. Before I talk about the trailer for The Mummy, I want to know what you guys think about the trailer for Guardians 2 down in the comment section below. So, the other trailer that I saw was for the remake of The Mummy, which is, of course, a remake of the 1999 version, which, of course, starred Brendan Fraser and Rachel Weisz. And, to be perfectly honest, going into this trailer, I was not excited for it one single bit. I think the biggest reason is that it's another reboot, and you guys know how I feel about reboots. I'm not really pumped for them anymore. They're not exciting anymore. They feel boring, and they're just retreads of original material, which leads to my problem with Hollywood, and that is... They're not making enough original properties. However, on a more personal note, I am very aware that a lot of people really enjoy the first Mummy. I know a lot of people have said it is one of their biggest guilty pleasures. It's, you know, cheesy fun. In my opinion, I've never understood why people consider it a guilty pleasure. Because in all honesty, I really love The Mummy, and I think it's a legitimately good movie. I've never understood the hate for it. I feel like the movie just has everything. Action, comedy horror, suspense, it just has it all. And uh, The Mummy Returns is okay, and The Mummy Part 3 is just one of the worst movies ever. So I watched the trailer with kind of low expectations, and I'm gonna be perfectly honest. If I said I didn't like this trailer, I feel like people would look at that and say, well, you're either biased to the 99 version, or you don't like reboots, or why would you say that? It looks so cool. But then if I were to tell you the actual truth and state, that I thought the trailer was better than I thought, but I still have zero intention on seeing the movie. Those are my real thoughts after watching the trailer because it actually looked better than I thought. It kind of impressed me in some parts. In other parts, I'm thinking, oh, come on. Now, of course, this movie stars Tom Cruise, who is, of course, one of the biggest movie stars of all time. And say what you want about him as a person, but I think as an actor, he's always committed to not only his own stunts, but he's committed to trying to make a really good movie. I like the fact that about half of this trailer takes place in one contained environment. That to me was pretty interesting because you're not gonna just spoil every other scene. However, it does evolve into a plane crash sequence that I feel kind of ruined the integrity and suspense of that sequence. Now, I actually think that's kind of a good thing at the same time because if I saw that in the theater 
and I saw Tom Cruise going down with the plane, my instant reaction would be, he's not dead. Are you, are you kidding me? So I'm glad I watched that in the comfort of my home instead of in a theater, because I think I would have gotten even more upset because they're not gonna kill Tom Cruise. He's our protagonist, he's our main character. There's no way they're gonna kill him. Now, like I've said, I view reboots in a very specific way, and I think about what is this going to do that's going to improve on the original, and how is it gonna stand out? All I could really think about was updated CGI and a different gender for the mummy. That's it. It's another example of not enough time has passed. We don't need any more of these reboots or remakes. It is an example of Hollywood showing that they've ran out of ideas. Who knows, if the story is kick-ass, then it's kick-ass. But aside from that, if updated CGI is all you can accomplish, that to me does not make a better film. In fact, that's a fail because it just proves that it's just one aesthetic that you're changing about the film, besides the gender thing, but it's one aesthetic that you're changing. I feel that if the movie has a good story and good characters, then I think it could possibly be a really good movie. It could be a fun movie. Also, this is something I need to mention because it's actually been going on in the YouTube comment section and on Twitter. During the plane crash sequence, I want you to listen very carefully to Tom Cruise's scream because it was actually kind of hilarious. <laughs> So if you guys watched the Mummy trailer, what'd you think about it? Comment below. I would love to hear all of your opinions. I hope you guys enjoyed my double feature trailer review. Thank you all so much as always for watching and stay tuned.